design which is this uh, sorting box for nuts, bolts, uh, screws, whatever you want. So there are different uh, boxes with uh, removable uh, inserts so you can uh, take them out if you want to take something with you and just dump it out. Uh, it's completely 3D printed so you don't need any hardware for the actual box and this has this really nice uh, locking mechanism so nothing falls out uh, so yeah that's what we're going to do today so stay tuned so first off the link for this model will be in uh, the video description so you can go download it uh, and uh, that's on uh, Thingiverse so you can check it out there you don't need any hardware for this it's only printed parts uh, and yeah, that's it. So let's get started. Uh, whichever one you're going to make, you need to print uh, the lid piece right here. Nothing special about um, the settings on that. And also the small uh, clip right here. Nothing special on that either. Then you have some different variants of the actual box. Uh, what is different is the text on the front. You can go from M5 uh, to M. Two uh, for the uh, bolts that you're going to use inside it, or just with black on front, so you might you can write on it or something like that. Uh, but M5 uh, that's on the bigger side because this box is so small. But for M3 and M2 bolts uh, and M4 as well, they are really good. Then in one of these, you can have four different inserts. So there are a lot of them to choose from. You can, uh, uh, you don't have to download all. You can go on the Thingiverse page and then on uh, downloads, and then you can choose whichever ones you want. But there are blank ones. There are the ones with the numbers so 22 for 22 millimeter bolts. There are the whole one, the split ones uh, with two smaller one, uh, uh, boxes inside. Uh, and also those with blank as well and if you want to get a bit fancy like me you can actually um, in pretty much every slicer uh, you can print them upside down so this uh, bottom bridge is right here uh, then you can pause at a, speci a specific height so I paused at layer 3 uh, and then I change the filament so then you get this uh, uh, cool numbers right here with uh, the dual colors so that's uh, really cool I probably have put uh, a guide up here for QR because that's what I use so that you need four uh, inserts of your choice so you can have different boxes with different inserts different M3 ones uh, for bigger and smaller bolts as well as maybe one for each size uh, then you also need a small piece of 1.75 millimeter filament as well as um, uh, pliers or these uh, uh, Creality side cutters or something like that to cut the filament later and also this uh, latch needs to be glued in place but you can probably use super glue maybe hot glue or even a 3d pen uh, to do that you might even be able to melt it in place so uh, the inserts it's uh, really simple because they uh, literally just drop in place like this it, this should fit perfectly like that so they don't slide around so you can put your things in uh, there then uh, the lid goes on top right there uh, 
and this is where the filament piece is used. There are holes from the inside of these two hinges and not on the outside. So what you do is you take one of these uh, pieces of filament and just uh, take the pliers and then you push it in until it uh, stops. Just uh, like that, then you literally just cut it off, move to the other side, and try to not squish the end of the filament that much. And then you just take the pliers once again, get it into the hole like this, and then just push it until it bottoms out, like that, cut it off, and, oh, and that's all you need for uh, the hinders. It works really well and you don't need any screws. Then uh, the last part, it's the latch, it goes into this uh, indentation here at the front, just down like this, glued in place with anything you um, want, as I said, and then that latches into this small groove here at the top, so the lid doesn't fly open. So I'll glue that in place with some uh, super glue, I think, and then I'll come back. So now I've glued the latch in place right here. You can see this part sticking in slightly further than the wall and that's what locks into uh, the lid and makes it click into place. So you can't uh, drop anything uh, out. It's a bit hard to open in uh, the beginning but uh, it loosens up a bit over time so that's necessary. Uh, so it doesn't uh, open by itself. Uh, later this uh, prototype i made uh, is a lot easier uh, to open but it still snaps in uh, place just fine so uh, that's uh, the simple uh, box i made i filled it up with some nuts uh, tea nuts different bowls and boats and things uh, i didn't really have what the, uh, the sizes are these are just just uh, regular wood screws but yeah really cool link to it in the video description so you can go and download it from thingiverse or uh, prusa printers but yeah that's it thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one